Okay, let's finish off questions 8 and question 9 in this short video, just to finish off the practice test. Um, we've got this expression here, this formula that is given. At the moment it doesn't have a subject, which means it doesn't have a letter on its own. For example, A equals LW, the area of a rectangle. A is on its own, it's the subject of the formula. At the moment this does not have a subject as it stands there. There isn't a letter which is on its own. What we are asked to do is change this around so that we get a new subject. And the subject that we're looking for, let me just check what the subject is, it says make Y the subject of the formula. So we need to make the Y the letter on its own. So how do we go about this? Well there's different ways of doing it, but this is what most people I think would prefer to do. We're trying to find Y, I'll put that in a bracket there. We've got a bracket present in this expression. We, it would be a good idea if we were to multiply or expand out that bracket. That's what we do when we've got equations with brackets in. We try and get rid of those brackets. So I'm going to expand it out. You say 2 times 3y is 6y. Then you say 2 times the negative f is minus 2f. Okay, so you get 6y minus 2f. That times that, that times that. And you get 6y minus 2f. The other side we leave alone for the moment. Okay, so we've got that. Now what do we do? Well, we just manipulate the algebra just like we would manipulate the algebra for any ordinary equation. If I was trying to solve an equation and I've got six y's and I want to find out what y is, I need to get that six y on its own on one side first. Everything else must go to the other side. There are no other y's involved in the question at all. So what I'm going to do is leave the six y exactly where it is and I'm going to take everything else to the other side. Well, that 3f stays put. The plus 8 stays put. But that minus 2f needs to be shifted across the equal sign to the other side. If you take the minus 2f to the other side, it's going to become a plus 2f, like so. Now we just tidy things up. Leave the 6y alone for the moment, because you can see we've got 3f there, plus another 2f has joined it. Well, they can now go together to give 5f's. So you should put them together to simplify it to get 5f. The plus 8 just stays the same, so we get that. So 6y's are equal to 5f plus 8. But I don't want 6 f, uh, 6y, I want y on its own. So I have to get rid of that 6. So you get a choice. You either say, divide both sides by 6, or if you like, take the 6 to the other side, and instead of being times by 6, because this is y times 6, it becomes a divide by 6. So either way, what I'm going to do is take the 5f plus 8, I'm going to put it all in the bracket, and I'm going to divide by 6. So either share by 6, share that by 6, you get that, or take the 6 to the other side, it becomes a divide by 6. And there you go. I've now got y on its own, it is the subject of the formula. And that's the end of that question. Okay, looking at the last question on the sheet of this test, question number nine, um, we've got a standard form question. It says, find in standard form the value of 2.3 times 10 to the 23, it says. The writing is extremely small there. 23 is the power. Put that in a bracket. And then we multiply by 2 times 10 to the power 32. Okay. Now, this is designed, really, for paper 2, because it's a paper 2 test, so you would be allowed to use a calculator. So if you were using a calculator with this, you need to use your um, EXP button, which is your standard form button. Some calculators have their own ver version of the standard form button. It's EXP, some calculators it's the EE button. Other calculators, you will have times 10 to the power X button. Whichever one it is for you, you need to know what that button is on your calculator. To do this on a calculator, I need to put that in on my display in standard form. It's certainly not possible to put that on your calculator if you change it to an ordinary number, because it would be a huge long number, too long for your display. So what I'm going to do is put 2.3, then you press your standard form button, and then you press 23. Notice you don't press times, you don't press 10, you just put 2.3, standard form button, then 23. Then you say, let's multiply it by, so I'm going to say times by, 2 
and then times 10 to the 32. So it's 2. Now times 10 to the 32 means you just press the standard form button and then 32. And then you press equals. And you get an answer of 4.6. And then you need to make sure that whatever version your calculator says in standard form notation, that you write it down like that. Most calculators nowadays will actually write it on the display like that. Some calculators will give you the answer like this, 4.6, like this one does in fact. And there's just a little gap and then 55 at the side. You've got to realise that does not mean 4.6 to the power 55. It means 4.6 times 10 to the power 55. And there's the answer using a calculator on a paper 2 to get the answer to question 9. And that is the last of the solutions for this first practice test.